So this question says, which of the following equations represents a circle in the xy plane that intersects the y axis at exactly one point? Okay, so first of all, the equation of a circle looks like this, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where h comma k represents the center of the circle. And of course, r represents the radius of the circle. So it's important for us to understand where the center of the circle is and how the radius interplays there so that we can kind of imagine whether or not that circle will touch the y-axis at exactly one point. So for instance, here for choice A, the center would be 8 comma 8 and the radius would be 4, right? r would equal 4 because again, four squared equals 16. So the radius here is also four, the radius here is also four, the radius here is also four. But if we think about where, and I'll need some more space to kind of work through this, but if we think about choice A, the center of the circle, in fact, we're gonna just draw the graph first. The center of the circle is at eight, eight. If the radius is only four units, that means it's not gonna make it to the y-axis. So A is gone. Let's try the exact same idea for choice B. Choice B, our center is at eight comma four. So when I draft that, I'd be at eight, four. And again, to get to the y-axis and go over four units, I'm only at four. I don't quite make it to the y-axis, so B is gone. Choice C, uh, the center is at four comma nine. So when I graph that, now I'm at four for my x-axis, nine for my y-axis, so I'm up here. And this time, yeah, I go over four spaces for a radius, right, because r equals four, I do just barely touch the y-axis. So choice C must be the correct answer, right? So the, the hint here, or the key here, was having four for the x value of the center not for the y value of the center. So having x as the, or having four as the x value of the center of the circle gets me a circle that basically barely touches that y axis because the radius of four units just takes us from the center to the y axis.